Hey, Dylan, congrats to you. Uh, how do you like you. your your landing spot with the Titans? And what do you hope to be known for in Tennessee? Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, I hope I can uh, just come in and contribute to the successful program they already have. I hope to be uh, known. I know Taylor Wan's kind of the staple lineman there. I listen to his show all the time. I hope I can emulate what he brings to the Titans and just that uh, aggressive style football to that offense line. So, uh, yeah, again, I hope I can go there, fit in. Super happy with this uh, uh, pick for me. Harry. Dylan, uh, can you talk about the jump that it's going to be going from one double A uh, FCS uh, into the NFL? And what do you think that adjustment will be like? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, there's uh, faster, stronger guys. And I've been putting in the work this offseason, been putting in the work since uh, my coaches th uh, thought I could go to the NFL. So uh, I've been making sure I've been going up against those opponents. And uh, I think I proved myself well at the Senior Bowl. I was able to perform well against those guys and just continuing to get stronger, get faster uh, against those uh, high level opponents is going to be huge. So uh, just continuing to uh, get better, not thinking that I made it at any point in my career. So uh, doing that, and I think I'll be very successful. John Glennon. Hey, Dylan. Uh, speaking of the Senior Bowl, uh, you know, obviously had a, had a great week there. What did you do, you know, because obviously you only played the one game this past season, but what did you do to train for it? And what did you feel like you really excelled at at, at the Senior Bowl? Yeah, um, so just uh, uh, what I did training, like you said, only one game. So I flew out to California immediately after that game, went to uh, train with Joe Staley, ex-49ers, uh, future Hall of Famer. So uh, uh, he was super good in my development. He was a huge testament to that. So uh, shout out to him. But uh, yeah, I did that a lot with uh, previous NFL players. I worked with Paul Alexander. He was a previous NFL coach. And so I just worked with a lot of NFL guys to get myself ready. And uh, yeah, like I said, I performed pretty well. Uh, I think uh, just being able to bring that nastiness from the FCS, uh, NDSU uh, power style football uh, to the senior bowl was a huge benefit to me. And I think it showed. Cool. Hey, Dylan, could you tell us a little bit about um, who else you thought was uh, – how interested did you think the Titans were and who else did you think was uh, was coming after you maybe? Yeah, there's a lot of teams that showed interest. I, I sparked a lot of good relationships. It was great to talk to a lot of GMs and coaches. And, uh, yeah, I met with uh, GM down at the Senior Bowl. We were talking, talking about Taylor Wan, talking about Derrick Henry's running style. I mean, uh, built a good relationship down at the Senior Bowl. And uh, through the off or through the more of the off season, I was able to get on a few Zoom calls with them and built a good relationship. And uh, wasn't exactly expecting it to happen where it happened, but uh, – uh, was definitely super excited that it did. And uh, uh, Tennessee was always on my radar and my, me and my agent always talked. Uh, they weren't exactly number one, but uh, they're definitely, uh, I'm happy to be here. So uh, it was a good pick for me, like I said. Luke? Dylan, what do you think is the next step for you as you continue to develop your game for this transition to the NFL? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's uh, meeting teammates, getting around the offense line, getting the playbook. Uh, getting around the offense coordinator, getting to know the whole team, the organization, and then uh, uh, just putting my nose to the grindstone and grinding out and getting ready for this upcoming season because uh, uh, I'm definitely going to want to be throwing that starting five. That's just a competitor in me, and if not, I want to help this team win a lot of games. So uh, just getting into the organization is going to be the next step. How have you tried to uh, keep in shape and keep in rhythm after only playing one game last year because of COVID? Yeah, for sure. It's hard. Uh, thank goodness I had the senior bowl to help me uh, stay in football shape. Uh, we always say that. I mean, you can always condition, you can always lift weight, stuff like that, but there's something different about hitting guys. And, uh, so uh, being able to just hit pads, uh, being able to train with other offensive linemen, they understand the physicality of the game. So having them hold pads for you and stuff. So uh, it, it's been difficult, but at the same time, I think I did a good job at it. Things showed at the senior bowl and uh, we'll continue to do that through uh, OTAs and rookie mini camp. Teresa. Dylan, uh, playing at NDSU, what is your strength? Do you are you a better run blocker, pass blocker? And you know, you mentioned uh, talking about uh, Derrick Henry's running style. Uh, what's wh how excited are you at the prospect of helping block for uh, the NFL rushing leader? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I think both uh, both my games are, are gonna. Uh, transition really well to the NFL. Uh, we are a power run scheme at NDSU. So being able to run block, I'm able to come off the ball. Uh, and then we had Trey Lance, obviously. So we let him air it out a few times. So uh, 
uh, obviously past broccoli and uh, there's always going to be things to work on, but I, I feel like that will transition really well. And then, yeah, like you said, uh, blocking for Derrick Henry, that's going to be awesome. Uh, I mean, he got the 2000 yards last year and I listened to Taylor the Wands podcast and stuff. They're always trying to get him to break that record and uh, yeah, whatever I can do to contribute to help him get that. I mean, he's an awesome running back. Uh, it's going to be an awesome offensive line and just uh, excited to contribute. Sure on. Yeah, Dylan, you, you mentioned the things that you were able to do at North Dakota State and why it will translate well. And you also say that you want to be in that starting five. Obviously, right tackle is a position. You played a lot of left. What is it about your ability to transfer to, to the other side? And what type of challenges do you think that presents for you? Yeah, uh, obviously, I played a lot of my career at left tackle. So just switching over, that'll probably be the first challenge. I've been working on it in the offseason, uh, doing drills and stuff with the right tackle, uh, if that is the position they want me to be at. Um, so I've been working on both sides of the ball, switching up my stance like that. So that is probably the biggest challenge. And then, uh, yeah, just uh, making sure everything, you're dotting your I's and uh, crossing your T's when you switch over, making sure the play calls are right, stuff like that. And uh, uh, as long as you do, uh, I have uh, I do that well and then follow what the coaching staff tells me to do. I, I think there would be no problem in the transition. And then with you not coming from a power five school, that's one of the first things people say, oh, North Dakota State, what the heck? But talk a little bit about just the, the style of play and, and how good that football is that you guys played mm -hmm. in that conference. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's a pro style offense. Obviously, yes, we're a heavy run team. Uh, we love to run power football. We do a little outside zone, inside zone when we need to. But uh, uh, we run everything under the sun there. Um, I've, I've, I've run all kinds of plays, split protection, all this stuff called Mike ID. So uh, I, I have no problem about transitioning into a, a next level offense. Um, but uh, yeah, just being able to do that at NDSU, I think that's why we produce a lot of uh, NFL players or are starting to produce a lot of NFL players, especially with quarterbacks. And we produce two other offensive linemen. So uh, uh, yeah, there's a jump in skill, but other than that, uh, mental wise and just uh, running an offense like that, uh, I think it'll transition really well. Lemon. Yeah. Uh Dylan, um, I, I don't know how familiar you are with the personnel on the Titans offensive line, but, uh, you know, they, they've got some guys, you know, who are, are going to compete also at the right tackle spot. I mean, mm -hmm. would it be, a, 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 I know you said you're competitive and you want to be in that starting five, but if you don't end up there, mm -hmm. you know, is it a good situation for maybe you to transition uh, into the NFL that first year and, and maybe to learn some things and, and to strengthen as well? For sure. First and foremost, like you said, I'm always going to want to start, uh, uh, I'm not going to speak it into existence that I won't be. But uh, like you said, if that if that for some reason happens, uh, I'm always going to be competitor. I'm always going to want teams to win. I'm always going to want my team to win. So I'll push the guys in front of me uh, and make sure they're on their P's and Q's uh, about that. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a competitive atmosphere. We'll get after each other, I'm sure. Uh, I'll get pushed around a lot, I'm sure. They'll get pushed around, whatever it may be. But uh, uh, ultimately, uh, the team's trying to win a lot of games. So whatever we can do to do that, I'm sure that'll be the end uh, goal at the end of the day. Paul? Are you familiar with the Isaiah Wilson story here and how the Titans came to need a right tackle? Uh, yes, I'm familiar with what happened. Very unfortunate circumstances. Jim? Hey, Dill, you, you talked a little bit about Taylor. Uh, what do you see when you watch him play? You talk about wanting to emulate him. What do you like about his game? And, and what do you see when you watch the Titans play football as far as what their guys do up front? For sure. Um, firing off the ball, I think that says for Taylor and the whole offensive line, be it firing off the ball, uh, getting uh, that pressure on the defensive line so Derrick Henry can make his cuts. And then uh, uh, I watch uh, Taylor in the pass game a lot because he's got uh, such good hand placement, good hand striking. Uh, and he's so balanced in his feet. You never see him really leaning one way or another. He's always uh, seems cool, calm, and collective when he's uh, dropping back in his pass set. So uh, uh, looking at all those things, uh, I feel like I'm going to be able to learn a lot from this whole offensive line group. Ron? One thing that obviously can be an issue, you only played one game mm -hmm. this past season. How excited are you to get back onto the field? And mm -hmm. do you feel like that presents an additional challenge? 
Um, yeah, like I said before, uh, being in football shape is a little bit different, but, uh, I mean, everybody's going through the off season. Uh, luckily we'll have OTAs, mini camps to get me ready. Um, but then at the same time, there's a positive not playing or only playing in one game is, uh, my body's super fresh. I, I literally have no, uh, injuries at all, no nicks and bruises. So I was able to gain a lot of strength too, through that. Cause I wasn't playing in a season. So, uh, my body's in tip top shape. It's just a matter of, uh, getting back into, or I should say, uh, coaxing into, uh, that football shape that I was talking about since I haven't played football. But uh, I'd say there's a lot of positives out of the not only playing one game. Ben Arthur. Hey, Dylan, is there a quality that you feel you bring to the Titans O-line room that is unique that <clears throat> you talked about as much just about your game, like throughout the draft process? Is there anything you feel that you br bring is that, that that's, you know, maybe noteworthy? That you mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, throughout this draft, I've tried to make myself as versatile as possible. I think that's what's going to be unique about me. Uh, we talked about moving me to right tackle, but who knows, maybe I'll be pushing a guy at right guard, maybe pushing a guy at left guard, uh, whatever we may be. Maybe I'll take some snaps, uh, but that probably won't happen, but uh, we'll see. Um, just being able to push teammates and uh, uh, build a, a good core group there, I think that'll be a, a uniqueness that I bring, just being a, so versatile. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, like I said, it, it's going to be a good group to jump into. Jim Wyatt. Dylan, Dylan where, where are you? Where'd you end up watching the draft? Uh, back home in Minnesota. So it's just north of Minneapolis here. What, uh, what was draft? What was this night like for you? What, did you have a party where you are? And what was kind of the reaction after your name was called? Uh, it was crazy. It was a crazy night. It was fun to watch. I trained with a lot of the guys that got drafted tonight and just uh, congratulating them as they went. And uh, uh, yeah, I just have a little get together with my immediate family and I saw the phone ring uh, from the Tennessee area code and it said Tennessee on it. And I was like, well, guys, I guess I'm going to be a Titan. And everybody's like, wait, what? And then I was like, yeah, they're calling me right now. And so uh, uh, it was good. Tears were shed, tears of joy and uh, lots of hugs are given around. This is a moment my family's been waiting for for a long time. So uh, as this very exciting process, I'm super happy to be where I'm at. And what did they tell you when you answered the phone? I mean, did you talk to John? Did you talk to Mike? And did they have any first words for you? Yeah, I talked to John. He's like, hey, hey, how's it going? I was like, it's going well. How are you? And uh, he's like, uh, we're going to make you a Titan with this uh, next pick. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm trying to hold back tears as I talked to him. And then I talked to Mike, too. And he was saying congratulations, all that stuff, and uh, getting uh, getting me down there and all that stuff. So uh, uh, it's all good things. It was a great conversation. I uh, can't wait to get down there. Two more, Luke. Dylan, have you met uh, Keith Carter yet or talked to him at all? I, I do not believe so. Maybe if I have, uh, I don't quite recall, but uh, I don't believe so. And then you won right. Senior Bowl Player of the Week. What, what do you think led to that? Uh, just being able to go in there and uh, – I think I was uh, one of Jim Nagy's favorites, which was which was good to be in uh, uh, for the uh, situation. But uh, I think just going in there and just displaying uh, my dominance and my physicalness and firing off there the ball and just Marshall. running to running backs as they finish in the end That's zone as guys catch the ball, picks, but they did uh, not able to fly around and stuff like that. I think that uh, proved uh, proved to give me the opportunity to win that award. And I mean, there's a lot of great players there that probably could deserve it too, but uh, I was just not a huge honor to win that one. Lennon. Yeah, Dylan, uh, curious, uh, do you know about what you weigh right now and what you would like to weigh in a, in a perfect world once a uh, training camp rolls around? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to be pushing 310 right now. We've had a lot of, we had some Mexican food catered in tonight. So uh, had a lot of tacos, but uh uh, I probably weigh around 305, around playing weight. Uh, that's what I'd like to play at. Obviously, there's room for development there. Uh, I've been developing a lot, cutting down on body fat. So if they need to put a few more pounds on me, uh, then that'll that'll be what I do. But uh, other than that, uh, I'd, I'd like to play at 305. 